Morning, followers of Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator on um, YouTube. Now, um, you've seen the thumbnail. I'm gonna do a bit of a review. A bit of a review. Re review. It's been a couple of weeks now since I did the um, testing out the Scuff X and the Dulux Diamond Satin Wood. Now, a bit of feedback from people that have watched that video. Um, I'm coming back, I'm coming back to you. I'm doing it, doing what you say. We wanted to see actually how hard wearing they were. Now, these, Doris the door. My top part of the door is Scuff X. Not difficult, Scuff X. And the bottom half of the door, down here, and I'll rotate it round when we come to it. Um, it's the Dulux. I'm not saying no more. I mean, you, know, you know what my thoughts were on that one. Diamond satin wood. Not that impressed. Product testing video um, playlist is there if you want to watch that. But I'm going to keep this uh, short and sweet. I like short and sweet. We know how we tested this. We'd got the cream color, which was um, a chalky paint and a black. We did two coats of these, and I'm repeating myself if you've not seen the previous videos. We just did two coats because these are paints that actually supposedly cover for two coats. Now, I was going to the extreme. You know when I'm doing my testing, I'm gonna go extreme. I'm not gonna make it too simple for these paint manufacturers. If you were going over a light colour or a white, I would actually say 99.9% .9 and nothing could be 100%. I'm not going to guarantee any. The only guarantee is you can always get some paint that's cheaper. Or is it you can always get somebody to price you the job cheaper? Yeah. If you're going over similar colours, whites, a slight off-white, you'll probably find that these do cover for two. I want to see what these were like with a darker cream and also the black and that is the extremes and that's why I've been doing these videos testing over dark colors now the scuff X didn't do bad over the black I would say you were going to need a third coat which we'd probably do anyway so that's that's fair enough but how hard is it after it's had two weeks to cure I think that's plenty long enough is it as good as they say it is I've got a pound coin in my pocket God rest the soul. It's got the Queen's head on it. Wonder how long it is before we get the new coins coming out. Ah, oh, shame. But we've got a pound coin. And I'm going to do the pound coin test. And I'm going to do the key test. I've got my keys to me. Oh, God, I'd like to say Porsche. But it's far from a Porsche. It's not a Porsche. It's... I'm going to do the key test and the coin test. And I'm going to scratch away at it. Go soft, go hard, or go home. And let's see what they're like. So to start, we're gonna do Scuff X, and then we'll go to the Diamond. Now, supposedly these are hard-wearing paints. I'm not expecting them to come off like we've seen some paints on previous videos. If you wanna look at other videos then there might be something there, we'll see. But I'll bring you in, and let's see what we can do. Right. If we're in a household with kids, like I've got kids, now they're playing cricket, they're doing golf, they're bringing in the bags, they're dumping them in the hallway. I know, our house is just, just everything's dumped down as soon as they come in. If they're marking woodwork, what's it like? Let's let's give it a try with a coin. Right. Should we go across the rail here or should we go the panel? We'll do that one there, you'll see it. Right. Pan coin. Is that what you'd expect? I'd probably say that's what I'd expect. This is the Scuff X. Oh. Sorry, so we don't forget. Now, I'm going hard at that. Now, you can see me, I'm starting to get through to the 
I'm scraping the surface. That is going through to that black. I'll say to anybody, your paint coating that you put on is only as good as the surface that you go over. Now, if you've been, I don't want to say an old school um, painter and decorator, far from it. If you've been a painter and decorator a long while and you've been working in houses that are Victorian, that over the years has had paints put over the old scumble glazers, because that's how they used to do it, early 19th century, 1800s, 19th century. They used to drag it and grain it and it used to be an oil scumble glazer oil scumble glaze then over the years paints develop and improve and they put oil based paints over now you'll probably go to old Victorian houses that the staircases chip straight back down to the and it looks like the wood it's probably not the wood it's more the scumble glaze stains that they put on the wood so you're only as good as the surfaces that you go on unless you strip it back to bare and then build it back forward makes sense so if this is coming off what's coming off i'm going to say the scuff x is coming off and leaving the black underneath let's try it on the cream can you see me on there i'm scratching it back down to the cream i'm putting a bit of pressure on it is that a fair test? Not sure. Not sure. But it's it's stripping back down to the paint underneath it with two coats. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? Got my key out. That black isn't coming off down to the previous coats that are underneath it. It's the scuff X coming across uh, coming off from that black chalky paint. Key. This is a bit sharper. Yeah, I can pull off the scuff X. Am I going too hard? Am I expecting too much? What do we think? Should it be doing that? Is that what you expect after two weeks? I mean, this is really giving it a big scratch. If I banged it. It's not too bad, but it's coming away from that chalky paint. Now, is it that the chalky paint's the problem? Maybe, not sure. Should that scuff X have adhered to that flat matte, well chalky paint, it wasn't powdery, it's just the flat finish, which if anything, a flat finish is quite nice. Let's just say that comes off. I'm gonna flip the door over, so bear with me. Should we try it with a coin? Right, we've got the same, leaving the remnants of the coin, the metal, you'd, you'd expect. Now, that is actually scraping off. That's actually scraping off back down to that chalky white, uh, chalky white, it wasn't chalky white, it was chalky cream paint. That's coming off a lot easier. I could virtually strip that. Well, probably a bit extreme stripping it, but try the key. That's actually getting through that surface really quickly. And I am pressing hard, but we're chipping that paint off, we're stripping it back. I'm going to get you in close. You see that? 
can get my nail on that and I can go back down to that chalky paint. So I would say in two weeks that's not been as good as the scuff X. Let's try and we get some of the black on this side. You can see you probably can't but the coverage wasn't brilliant. Yeah, I'm scratching hard now, I'm going back down to the black. Right, let's try my nail. That's chipping a lot easier. What do we reckon? Is it not as hard as we think? Does it need longer? If you use this paint, and think this is the wrong sort of test or oh, tell me give us some comments but I'm just trying to do the extreme damage that you won't be doing you won't be doing normally but if you were banging it with my kids golf clubs could it be chipping off and I'm saying yeah it could be and we are going back down to the black and if we go even harder To go even harder I'm going past that black now to that creamy colour that I did oh, months ago weeks weeks months ago so I'd say diamond satin wood doesn't seem as hard as the try again Oh, don't speak too soon. I've really gone at... I'm going to say this again. They're both coming on. Let's... Interestingly, on the black there, I can scrape that off quite easy. Really like the diamond. The diamond satin wood. I'm now getting through the other layers of paint. I don't know how to review this. I don't really want to call it a review then, do I? What's my thoughts? 108 pounds for the Benjamin Moore for a, about a four litre can is it? I can really scratch it off after two weeks but I can do the same with the diamond Dulux diamond satin wood which is a litre can at 30 quid so it's probably a much of a muchness We're probably not much difference off pricing but how hard are they supposed to be? Is it as good as we think it is? What's that? Somebody shouting to me. Do I need to try this out? Do I need to try this? Watch this space. I had to buy that. 22 quid. I had to buy it. But I'll be testing that paint out. Probably do the same. But if all paints are doing the similar sort of thing, do you suddenly look at the things that I look at. How easy is it to apply? What's the coverage like? And I use that term as opacity because I was explaining this to my wife. She didn't understand the word opacity and coverage. And when I explained about opacity and coverage, she got it and she says, oh, the word coverage is a lot easier to understand if you're explaining it like that. I know. So if I'm looking at how it applies, how it flows out, what's the opacity coverage like of it? I don't mean the coverage how far it goes I'm on about how it covers over these mouldings if it's a nice paint would you be spending 100 quid on a tin of paint or would you be spending 50 quid on a tin of paint that's your dilemma that you've probably got on these sorts of paints expensive or cheaper should we expect more from more expensive paints uh, I'll let you decide I'll let you decide on that one so um, There'll be some videos there. Thanks for listening to this one. We've kept it a bit shorter than half an hour. But I just wanted to see how good are these paints if I get 
a coin on it. The key is the same, it's the coin test. We'll call it the coin test. But the scratch off. Did I think they'd do that? Of course I did. But it's how easy it scratches off, that's what we want to be asking the question of. How easy does it come off? See you on the next one.